I love this praying mantis and if you can believe it a praying mantis taught me a lot of things already and uh, one of the things it taught me is that if we don't spray pesticides there are many insects that will do the job of getting rid of harmful bugs praying mantis do not eat the grapes they eat insects that eat grapes and they're not harmful to people she is so beautiful and yet we have a fear of so many things that we don't know or understand as a matter of fact when i first found the praying mantis in a vineyard i wasn't going to put it on my hand you know i i was big guy you know afraid that it was going to hurt me harm me do something i mean i can't control it it's going to get me be afraid be afraid and fear is a uh, emotion and it's a very powerful one when you think about it i mean it's still being used today by uh, terrorists i mean terrorists want you to be afraid afraid in your house afraid on the streets afraid everywhere but by the same token governments and the media also use fear to play on our emotions back in the early 80s uh, i was one of the first ones to have a small video store in a town and uh, well it was the first video store in a town and one of the most popular video series that were out there or uh, genres had to do with horror people loved horror movies and uh, especially women they loved horror movies friday the 13th halloween all these different things and uh, it plays on your emotion of fear i don't i don't understand that i still don't understand to this day because uh i remember back in those days when i watched friday the 13th the only thing that happened for me is that during the night i woke up with nightmares and uh, I'm not one for liking uh, horror things, but uh, like I say, there's a lot of people that do. As a matter of fact, one of my most popular, well, the most popular video I have has to do with this tarantula on my hand. And it's got more than 34 million views. And a lot of people express that emotion of fear about it in, in, in the way they write about it or, you know, wouldn't have that thing on me or anything like that. And... Yet when you take a look at some of these things, let's take a look at this praying mantis. Who would imagine that a praying mantis would ever so gently with its uh, clawed mouth, whatever it has, would be cleaning its claws, making sure that it, you know, it can grip and, and hold and whatever. It didn't have anything it was eating. It was just grooming itself. I mean, I found all this so fascinating and... Uh, I've made videos about this praying mantis already and I'm going to keep doing it because I do want people to understand these creatures that so often come out of our, you know, recesses of our mind, like I said, out of fear. And uh, for me, it turned out to be a beautiful experience having it on me. And now when I think about it, you know, I've had a uh, praying mantis, I've had a... Uh, stick insect down in uh, Mexico and the tarantula that was in the Dominican Republic and uh, none of these things are things that we should have an unrealistic fear of if anything we're gonna fear we're gonna fear humankind I mean look at what we have done to the planet and to everything around us but that's a whole different chapter it's uh, it's about insects and uh, it's about living in harmony, I guess, to a great extent also. Every chance I had, you know, I would put my hand out in front of it and when it was crawling and it crawled over onto my finger and it, it it's almost seemed to me that like I could train it or else it was training me. What an amazing thing to think that maybe a praying mantis is training a human being that, you know, look at the world as a big picture. Look at life. Look at what I have, what I am in that little wee head of it it's got a brain and I saw it doing things that absolutely lead me to think that obviously it's thinking it's reasoning it realizes things are happening around it I don't know it's a heck of a lot that more than we can say for many people out there